What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. So I woke up to about 200 emails. You know, the other day we talked about the government supposedly going to shut down by midnight tonight, if you are watching the video, right? Uh, October 1st. And uh, basically uh, what was going on was, you know, the FMCSA wanted to make an announcement to all truck drivers that even if the government did shut down, they would stay open because they are funded in a different manner. So it wouldn't affect the truck drivers, right? We'll still be going into way stations and, you know, if we get pulled over, hey, they're going to be in full effect. Now, you know, what's the update from that? Well, here it is. Uh, today was the last day for Congress to fund the government. A shutdown was set to begin at 12.01 a.m. if Congress did not finish its work in time. Last minute agreement passed the House and Senate with overwhelming bipartisan majorities sending a bill to keep government funded through November 17th to the president's desk. So that's 45 days. The bill pushed by the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Republican of California, includes disaster relief funds, but does not include new aid to Ukraine. That was one of the big ones, right? Um, McCarthy brought up the new bill after House Republicans failed to pass their short-term spending bill Thursday in an embarrassing defeat. President Joe Biden signed the bill into law late Saturday night. Uh, in a few minutes, actually, uh, Biden will be giving his remarks live from YouTube from their White House channel. And so you guys can watch that after this is uploaded. The bill is passed. And without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. So for 45 days, it looks like the government will not be shut. And one of the biggest things was because one side did not want to give any more money to Ukraine. Right. And so we'll leave that at that. Now, a question that I did get from a lot of people that I could tell were not truck drivers is one person asked, uh, Alex, I, I have a question here. You know, I am not a truck driver, but from reading the comments from your last video, why do truck drivers hate the FMCSA so much? And so, you know, if you read the last comments from the other video, people are like, shut it down. You know, they don't do anything for us, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I kind of want to explain to the American people here why truck drivers feel the way we do, right? So when it comes to truck driving, a lot of truck drivers, statistically, they are the sole provider of their whole entire family. And all truck drivers are asking for is a right to work. And every time there's a new bill, some type of safety rule that makes it harder for a truck driver to work, either it's uh, self-driving semi-truck testing, either it's, you know, now you can't go faster than... 55 miles per hour, per se. There's a speed limiter that was coming out. You know, they tried to put the maximum at 68 and then they put that and took that away for a second. But it's just things like that every single day. You know, there's there's not a lot of jobs out there where people just want to work. And the government keeps on saying, no, 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 you can't just work. Uh, you're going to have to do this, jump through a fireball, a circle, uh, you know, get on a unicycle, jump over a building before you can do this. And those are the reasons why, you know, truck drivers, for the most part, do not agree with the FMCSA. You know, another part is, you know, they talk about regulation when it comes to hours of driving. But then when there's some type of hurricane or when locally they can't get their supplies, they go, you know what? No problem. Don't worry about, you know, the hours of uh, service. Don't worry about any of these things. Just keep on driving 24 hours, you know, help America out. So at one point it's about safety, but then when the government needs truck drivers help, then it's not about safety. So it gets very confusing for truck drivers. And because of that, you know, Truck drivers don't have a great relationship with the FMCSA. So, you know, uh, I apologize that that's what it is, but I just want to let the American people know that truck drivers just want to work and the FMCSA keeps on putting new rules and regulations, make it harder for the hardworking men and women to just provide for their family. So I would say that's what explains that. But Mother Truckers, comment down below. Just want to give you an update of what's going on out there. You know, you guys are the ones uh, emailing us. So I'm just here to just let the world know. So, my truckers, comment down below.